one Ford dealer in Alabama, according to me. Eddie threw it, Hartzell. Brad Stovall, auto, body and glass down in Tanner. Tell Brad I sent you down there. And by Austin and all the great guys over at Jimmy Smith, GMC, right down the road from here. And somebody didn't tell me, but it's bright out here. Awful bright, Jamie. Uh, we got the overhead going on. We got the, the, the remote camera. Kent, good friend of mine, Kent Gatlin. Yes, he's a Lindsay Lane member. You have brought a gorgeous car. I, I have lusted over this car for a long time. And one thing maybe, well, I know, I know. And, and it's gold. Uh, that's the thing that really catches your attention. But you were telling me during the break, there's, there's a reason that you don't see many of these gold. But first of all, tell the viewers what this is. It's a 2002 Chrysler Prowler. Uh, it's one of only about, uh, they've, Chrysler and Plymouth combined made less than 11,000 Prowlers over the five-year history of the car. Uh, they started making them in 1997 and stopped in 2002. And this is, this is one of only 583 that were painted the Inca gold. Inca gold. So, so less than 600 were made, and, and we were talking probably if you consider the ones that were crashed or wrecked or, or burned up in a fire, you hate to think about that, but there's probably less than 500 of these on the road today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would, I think there was one spotted in Huntsville the other day, but that, that one and this one is the only other gold one I've ever seen. So. You know, and, and we were also talking, uh, you, you think about it, when these cars first came out, uh, it was all the rave. It was, you know, it was different. It was a different style. Uh, the styling, the design was different, and everybody went crazy about them. But then they kind of faded away. They disappeared. They only made them for five years, right. and and then now, some 12 to 14 years later, it's become a huge collector yeah. item. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, there is a Prowler uh, owners group website where people get together and they have uh, Prowler meetings and rides and all that kind of stuff. None of locally around this area sure. but uh, and, and, and speaking of rides you do get this car out to cruise ins car shows and and you show it off because I know you got a pickup truck and I know you got a Harley but but you do get this car out quite a bit I try to take it to as many car shows as I can just to get it out and it is fun to ride it's it's a, it's a really good car to to get out and tool around in and I've had it for probably about five years I've probably put 12 to 14 thousand miles on it uh, so you don't, I mean, you do try to keep it low mileage. Now, how many miles does it have on it? It's got just, just went over 40,000 yesterday. 40,000. Now, a lot of times we kid around and we joke about the cars we bring on the show being for sale. But in all actuality, this car is for sale. It is for sale. It is for sale. As bad as I hate to say it, but it is for sale. <laughs> I mean, not that you don't enjoy it. Uh, and, and what are you asking for it? I'm asking 26.9 for it. 26.9. That is a bargain, Jamie. Jamie may... Uh, well, that's true. You know, Danny, he could tool into the shows, into the movies. Uh, he'd, he'd feel like Kevin Costner in this, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it, in the dropping the top is, uh, I mean, it is a power top. You don't have to drop no, it this it, morning. It's a manual top. Oh, it's a manual yeah, top. Manual top. Uh, these, about five, about five minutes to lower it. Now, these wheels, were those a factory wheel, the chrome option? They were. They were. Now, I've, I've replaced the tires with the, I took the run flats off there, so it's got the regular tires. But, yeah, it's got the yeah. factory wheels. Think about those run flats. They are not very comfortable, are they? Very comfortable. It made a huge difference in the ride of this car. So that's true. Now, now a little bit about the power and the engine. I, I know it only has a V6, yeah. and, and we say that, but good bit of power for the weight ratio. It's got quite a bit. It's around 255 horse, and if you compare that to, and I just recently looked it up, if you compare that to the V6 Mustang and the V6 Camaro, they're around 300 and 335. Uh, but this is about a thousand pounds lighter than both of those cars. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We're talking about a lot lighter weight car. Well, it is absolutely gorgeous. I know. I know. Last year, you and I rode over to the car show at Providence, uh, and Jamie, I rode with him in this car, and it was unbelievable the amount. I'm used to getting some looks in my Mustangs when I'm cruising into something, but the amount of looks and the attention we got when we rolled into this, Danny, we did feel like a, a superstar, a movie star. I mean, people just people just flog over there like you know about four or five hundred people it seemed to me like just were oohing and aahing over over this car yeah a couple thousand people that's right preacher talk yeah yeah, yeah was, do you do you get that a lot when you drive it i do i do it gets a lot of attention i i like the attention once it's at a car show I, that's true, but that's uh true. now does your wife like to ride with you in this she does she 
She hasn't drove it. She won't drive it. But uh, yeah, she. I've offered, but she won't drive it. But she likes to ride in it. Well, it is a definitely with the top down, your hair in the wind, and it is an automatic. So you know that's the thing. And I don't know if Jamie got a shot of it, but it's got beautiful uh, black leather interior. It, it is just a gorgeous car. I'm going to talk myself into buying this, Jamie. But I do. I think the ZTV logo would look really good on the door. Yeah, I do too. I, I do mean, too. Yeah. It could be an investment for Jamie. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Pie in the Sky had a Prowler that was painted. Painted up with the Pine Sky logo on it. So. Well, there we go. See, he can just take some of that company money and, and buy this. Glory would look good driving in it. So exactly. You know, exactly. Can't beat that. Well, speaking of car shows, Kent, thanks so much for bringing this car out. Uh, you've been a good friend, and I, and I was telling. Uh, yeah, I knew Jamie would like your shirt. Uh, and you got a truck that I want to bring up here in the next maybe few weeks uh, and, and, and show that one off, too. Okay. okay, that's the reason this has got to go. I've run out of room in the toy box. There you go, there you go. Well, thank you again for bringing that up, Kent. Uh, I'm going to switch over and let Brad show you some of the car shows that we've got coming up. I've been promising you that it is car show season, and that's exactly what it is. Saturday, May the 7th from 8.30 to 2 uh, over at the Madison Square Mall. That's there in the Sears parking lot kind of on the west end of the mall there. That is the 36th annual all Ford powered and Mustang car show. Uh, you don't want to miss that one. Dennis Hart and the guys from the Rocket City Mustang Club always put on a great show. Uh, so make sure you hit that one, rain or shine. Uh, and then uh, Saturday, May 14th, so that'll be next weekend, is the huge Lindsay Lane Baptist Church. It's an extravaganza. That's Eli's block party. That's the young man that... Um, has been battling brain cancer, and we've been uh, having a show for him. I guess this is actually the third annual that we've had there. It's from 930 to 3 right there in the south parking lot at Lindsay Lane, uh, just off of Highway 72 and 65. So come out to that. They've got live music, vendors, uh, activities for the kids. Uh, spectators is free to attend that show. Uh, and it is a car, truck, and bike show. Uh, I was talking to uh, one of my good friends uh, yesterday that's going to bring his motorcycle out to that. So you don't want to miss that one yes it's bright and sunny it's starting to warm up out here uh, stay tuned uh, don't know what we'll have next week but I can guarantee you that it'll be exciting so uh, thanks for tuning in here on ZTV Jamie Cooper show we'll see you next week never be this big 79-year-old Floyd Wills is not the only person who finds it hard to believe that their hometown of Boaz has gotten so crowded, it's hard to find a parking space.